BBC Sussex with Danny Pike. So my guests coming up in 15 minutes are Glynis Barber and Katie Braben, stars of Beautiful, the Carol King musical, which is on in the West End at the moment. Some music from Carol King as part of our Love at 11 this morning. Selection of songs written by Goffin and King. What a collection of music and beautiful. The Carol King musical on now at the uh, Aldwych Theatre and booking into 2016. Starring Katie Braben as Carol King. Uh, Katie recently won an Olivier Award for her performance. And also Glynis Barber, who plays Carol's mum, Jeannie Klein. Now, when I spoke to them, uh, Katie was slightly delayed in arriving. So I started off by talking to Glynis Barber about Jeannie Klein. Well, Jeannie Klein is a rather, in actual life, she was she really was a remarkable woman. I mean, she taught uh, Carol how to play the piano. She herself was uh, an aspiring uh, playwright, actor, director. So she was a very creative person. In the 1930s, she actually, you know, in working class Brooklyn, she actually got a college degree, which was very unusual in those days. And um, she, she was a remarkable woman who, who only died, I think, about five years ago and ended up in Florida uh, doing theatre reviews. So she sort of, you know, I, I think she lived into her 90s and uh, worked and the day she died basically and was she a guiding hand over carol's career uh I, I think she was. I mean, I, I think Carol definitely got her, her creative bent from her. I think she was quite a driven woman. And the irony is she didn't quite make it. And then, of course, Carol made it on such an absolutely huge scale. And um, and, and Carol is such an unassuming, humble person, whereas I think Jeannie would have, you know, would, might have been a bit of a diva <laughs> if right. it had worked for her. So was she perhaps je- jealous of her daughter's success or just utterly supportive? Well, you know, I to be honest, I don't really know. I mean, I'm going by how you know. At the end of the day, I have to 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 play what's written mm. written in our particular play. I think, so. What sort of um, character do you think she is from what they've written for you? How, how do you well, feel about her? Well, I think her? she comes across as a little bit fierce. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she she's practical. You know, you know. Carol, at the age of 16, says she wants to write songs. And, you know, and Carol was a very gifted child. I mean, she she was academically hugely bright. She, she skipped two grades. So her mother wanted her to become a teacher because, you know, uh, in the late 1950s, for a woman to, to want to become a songwriter was ludicrous. You know, she says to her, but you, it's not practical. You know, be a teacher. You know, girls, she, I, I have the line, you know, you know, girls don't write music, they teach it. And, and the fact that she, you know, she was a, such a success. And of course, by the age of 17, she had her first hit and was married. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite an unbelievable story, really. Even now, it's not easy making it as a female songwriter. It's tough. But, but then it was unheard of. OK. Uh, and so uh, the, talk, talk to us about the main characters in, in Carol's life. Because, uh, Casey, do you want to start off? Uh, she's arrived. I can tell oh, you she's, she's, she's arrived. She's, yeah, she wafted she's, in. She's wafted in. Yeah. Oh, she's she's carrying her award. <laughs> <laughs> I am not outrageous. Katie Braben, Hi. welcome. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Uh, yeah, well, uh, d- delighted that you're joining us and congratulations on your Olivier Award, which was for what? <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, oh, for what? Best Actress in a Musical, um, for Beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon about it. Tell us what was that was like being at the uh, awards ceremony. I mean, it's incredible. I, I mean, I, I watch the awards every year, and um, and so to be there was such an honour in itself. Um, and we performed. We we opened the ceremony, which was, I think, um, the most amount of adrenaline I've ever felt in my life. Um, and then to to hear your name called out is extraordinary. It's really surreal, actually. Yeah. That's it was so exciting because, of course, Lorna Want uh, won uh, Best Supporting Actress. So it was just very, very joyous. And they're both absolutely amazing, I can tell you, because I'm there on stage with them every night. So we're very happy, that, very happy. That's company. quite something, opening the show in front of all your peers from the, from the West End shows. Yeah, I mean, you can't yeah, really think scary. about that in a way because... Um, 
you just wouldn't be able to do it i think so but also being at the royal opera house you know such an incredible building and you know judy dench is in the audience you know it's it's very surreal very very surreal but as wonderful. much as anything that's potentially an audition for future jobs as well because people <laughs> will maybe remember good you for point. that good or good bad point. That's a good point. Yeah, good or bad. Yeah. I mean, you can't think about, like I say, those things yeah. when you're doing it because it, you just sort of freak you out too much. But um, yeah. Here's, here's the thing about Carol. I mean, over the years, I've played her records on the radio a lot, but I've never really found out an awful lot about her life. So maybe uh, uh, as as an actor, you come to that as, as well, and maybe knowing some of the songs, but not really knowing who the person was. So give me the, the kind of character traits that you've drawn on Katie in portraying Carol. Well, you know, she's quite a private person, um, which is, you know, I think people are really fascinated by her because she doesn't, you know, doesn't do a lot of interviews. She's, she's, you know, her personal life is her personal life. So when her book came out, I think that was quite remarkable for people because they could actually read about her and, um, and she's had these sort of multiple careers really you know writing with Jerry such a young age um, writing for other people and then writing songs for herself um, later on um, she's you know she's there's so much you can draw on from her from her character and she's um, I mean she's an absolute genius and it's it's wonderful to to get to play her every night you know Tell us about some of that interplay then, because Jerry Goffin, with whom she wrote some of the biggest songs together, they were a, 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 pu- a couple as well. They were husband and wife, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They were an incredible partnership, you know. Um, and and when you listen to her songs, the the fascinating thing I think of the well, the ones um, that she wrote with Jerry is that there's this real juxtaposition, if you will, from his his lyrics are quite. Some of them are quite dark. They're very um, emotional, and her and her music is um, juxtaposed to that is can be quite sort of bright and and fun. And so you've got this wonderful mixture, like things like "Take Good Care of My Baby." You know, there's a real darkness to it. You know, he's saying, you know, if I'd loved you better, you would, you would have, you know, been with me. Um, but, you know, look after her and take care of her. And um, yet there's this wonderful sort of like uplifting melody to it. So I think they had an incredible partnership when it comes to writing together. And tell us how the show is put together for the stage, because you, you, you've got to have a, a good number of the songs in there as well and to tell the story as well. So, Glenn, let's give an idea of, of how this whole thing is staged. Oh, well, it, it, you know, there, there's a lot packed into this mm. um, because I, I think there's a really moving story. I think the story of Carol, you know, I, I was a huge Carol King fan, but I had absolutely no idea that she'd been married so young that she, I, you know, I have to, I'm ashamed to say I wasn't familiar with Jerry Goffin or Cynthia Weil or Barry Mann who wrote these incredible songs. So I think that's a journey for people. And, um, you know, it is a very moving story. I think people are very moved when they see the show. And then it's absolutely jam-packed with all these incredible songs and I think people think they're coming along oh they're just gonna have a little bit of a sing-along and then they're sort of left reeling with this incredible story and uh, this great um, music you know and also performed by our uh, incredible ensemble you know we have the Shirelles we have the Drifters and they are out of this world and you have live musicians as well Oh, yeah, yeah. got an amazing band. They were actually nominated for an award for Outstanding Achievement in Music because they are such a good band. Um, yeah, so we have a, an amazing band who, uh, who just really love playing the songs every night, and, um, and as do we. Um, so, yeah, incredible. That's Katie Braben, who plays Carol King, and Glynis Barber, who plays her mum, Ginny Klein. And uh, hearing really good things about that show as well. Beautiful, the Carol King musical, Aldwych Theatre in London, now booking until 2016.